star to look for the mystery of life. There's no better planet or place to start to look for the mystery of life. Captain Blaze, Captain Blaze, where are you? He is always late. Captain Blaze, here I am on Space Station Zero once again. Are you excited that I'm here? I am glad you are here. Hello, Captain Blaze. Hi, how you doing? I'm sorry I'm late. That's okay. You know things get in your way. Sometimes you can't always. Uh, be on time. Well, you are the captain of a space station. So are you, my friend. It's good to see you. Very important. Hello. Uh, anyways, I've, I've got a plan. I'm going to sing a song. Because I like singing songs. Do any of you guys out there like singing songs? I bet you do. Singing songs is fun. Especially when you sing them like me and you really don't have a plan. You don't have words that you, you remembered you memor and mesmer uh, mem memorized. You, uh, you don't have uh, you don't even know what chord you're going to hit first on the guitar. Let's pick, pick, a, pick a letter. I'm going to guess you are going to play an E. You want to play an E? E is one of the letters of the alphabet, and that's what the song is going to be about. This is a song called These Are a Bunch of Stuff that, um, that there's all the letters of the alphabet, and these are some things that, you know, they start with the different letters. Excellent. That's that's the title of this song, and I'm gonna start with an E. That's an E chord, everybody. But that's okay. Where are we at? M? M, yes, M. Not one for M, it's another animal. M. M. It's a moose on the road. N. N is for my nose. O. O, o is opal, that's a type of stone. P. P. P is for Peter. Q. Q is for the queen in. Raphael, he's this guy in the snow. S. S. It's for space. T. T. 
is for Transistor Radio. U. U is for Universe. Behind you. V. V is for Vamos. Vamos. What does that have to be, buddy? Um, W? W. W is for waiting for this song to end. X. X is for xylophones because they make noise and music. And Y. Y because I love you. And Z, that is my favorite letter of all. Z is for zero. That is the designation of our space station. Plus, it is the letter my name begins with, Z. Z is for Z, my friends. And right now, Z is for zeroing in on the transmission that is coming from Captain Elaine. She will tell us some exciting things. I had been wandering in the Himalayas for months, searching for the mysterious beast known to the local as Yeti, and known in other parts of the world as Bigfoot and other things. Many people are skeptical about the existence of this creature, but many people have forgotten that only a little more than a hundred years ago, scientists didn't believe in the existence of gorillas. They thought they were a myth. They were wrong. But high in the Himalayas, I had found a footprint. It was ape-like, but much bigger than any human foot. I took shelter in a cave high on Mount Kailash to meditate on my finding and to recover from my journey. Um, I was awoken from my thoughts by the sound outside, the bizarre sound of a sort of howling, growling noise, um, unlike any animal that I had heard. Um, going to the mouth of the cave, I was terrified to realise that the sound was coming closer. And as a troop of yetis began to approach along the path, I realised my mistake. Not only had I stumbled on these magnificent, beautiful creatures, but I was hiding in their cave. Um, I quickly hid behind a rock so that I could watch them closely. And as they came in, they stank horrifically of dank, musk, musky animal it was horrible. And the smell got in my nose and my mouth, making me choke. I stifled a cough, but it was too late. Yetis have excellent hearing. And they, they saw me, and they began to approach. Realising that these mysterious creatures deserve to live on in that mystery, not bothered by people trying to hunt them, or get photo photographs of them, or just hiding in their cave for no apparent reason, I jumped up, ran out of the cave, and down the mountain as fast as my legs would carry. That Captain Elaine, she knows her stuff. She never ceases to amaze me with her antidotes. And adventures. She's adventurous. Captain, please. Hey! I have your mail. Mail time. It's Captain Marissa. Hello, Captain Marissa. Hello, Captain Marissa. Hi. Well, it's good to see you. Thanks for the mail. Okay, great. Well, I'm going to read my mail now. All right. So, it's sort of, you know. Thank you. All right, everybody ready for the mail? I get mail. I get mail from, uh, it's pretty much just Earth these days. So if anybody's watching from one of the other 10 planets, um, give me a, give, give me a letter. Neptune starts with N. You got that right, my brother. Captain, Dear Captain Blaze, I am an eight-year-old boy from planet Earth. Like I said, my name is Hank. Hank's a good name. Hank is a very nice name. I was watching your show and it seems like everyone up there on the space station has some pretty cool names. He's got a pretty cool name too. I like Hank, Zeke, Blaze, Marissa, Elaine. It's all, it's all good. I mean, he continues. Um, but me and my grandma can't seem to figure out how to spell any of them. Please help. Well, I'm going to help you right now, my friend. Hank. You spell Captain. You spell Blaze. Captain. Captain is is the uh, everybody. We go by Captain here because we're all the Captain. Uh, but Blaze, you spell B L A I S E. How do you spell Z? Z E E E P. I think you got an 
extra E in there, my friend. Did I get three E's? Oh, only two E's. Z E E P. Z or Z? Both okay. Hey, Marissa, can you tell us how to spell your name? N A R I S A. That's pretty interesting, too. And, uh. I got a plan. I got an idea. Are you ready for my idea? I am ready. I knew a young fellow named uh, Dennis. He sold cookies to baby ducks. Captain Marissa lives on the space station. In the basement. And I'm gonna call her right now. But I'm not gonna let her know it's me. Shh! Or do you wanna call her, Z? Or should I do this? Uh, maybe you should do it. Okay. She will recognize my voice, no problem, I am sure. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change my voice. Are you ready? Okay. Hello! Hello? Is Captain Marisa there? <laughs> my name is Jennifer Cuckoo Face. I've got 20 toes and two faces. Silly. No, I'm just kidding, Marissa. It's Captain Blaze talking from upstairs. Oh, hello, Captain Blaze. Yeah, you doing good in the basement? Okay, fine. Hi. That was fun, wasn't it? It's fun when they know it's you at the end and it's your friend. You don't do it to strangers. that perhaps I would go buy myself a video recorder. But I realize that there's no shops on the moon. I didn't like that at all. Well, maybe just a little. Well, Mr. Ice Cube certainly is one bizarre fellow. I enjoy his, uh, adventures very much. He's an adventurous type. He certainly is. You know what time it is now, though? Does anybody know? Mm -hmm. Anybody? Can I guess? Any of you guys know? Yeah, go ahead. Is it... craft time? No! Picture of the day! Picture of the day! It's time for picture of the day! Picture of the day! Picture of the day! Picture of the day! That picture was a lizard, wasn't it? It was a lizard. That was a pretty exciting lizard. And you were sort of right too, Zeep. You know why? Because now it's craft time? I'm gonna make some crafts. Excellent. I... This is my favorite segment. Because uh, the picture of the day was a lizard, I'm gonna make some lizard bracelets. I'm gonna do it. You are going to make I'm a craft. Gonna, I'm gonna make the craft. Are you ready? Usually it is uh, Captain Marissa making the crafts. I didn't really... Uh, the rocket ship didn't really... Do it for me. So I'm gonna be making the crafts from now on. I'm gonna be doing the crafts. Marissa did her best. We we love her for that. I loved her rocket ship. I loved it too. I'm sorry. That was rude of me. She had a great rocket ship. You know what I'm gonna do? Okay, just watch this. I'm gonna make a lizard bracelet. First, I got, I got some green paper here. I'm gonna draw a, a picture of a lizard on it. I'll just uh, you got a long tail. You got some legs here, um, some other legs, maybe like a head or something, right? Here, I'll, I'll, I'll just draw this out real quick and then I'll show you what I'm doing. Wow, you are fast at drawing. Um, you know, you have, to, you have to practice. Some might say you are the boss drawer. That's what they would say. I've been called that on occasion, not often, but you know. That is mostly an earth term, I am so, sure. So, this is my lizard. I'm the greatest artist in the history of outer space, I think. I think you might be. Okay, so you got your lizard. You draw it on a piece of construction paper, then you just cut it out. Cutting out my lizard. That's a song, you know? I'm just making that up right now. 
Okay, and I'm almost done cutting out my lizard. All right, so now I have a lizard. He's a kind of a sl long, slinky little fella. He's longer and slinkier than your average lizard. But Very okay. much so. And uh, I got a plan here. You know, I feel kind of bad for Marissa. I might have said something I regret. And the prank call. I... Marissa, are you, can you come up to, to, the, to the control room, please? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Marissa. Bye. Captain Marissa's on her way up. She'll be here momentarily. Hey, Captain Marissa! Hello, Captain Marissa. Hello, Zeke. Hello, Captain Um, I, w I wanted to uh, tell you how much I liked the, the, the spaceship you made, the rocket ship. I really did. And, and I, I, I got a gift for you. Oh. Put on your wrist. No, I'm, I'm, no, here we go. And I'm going to put this around your wrist. And uh, I'm just going to put a little bit of tape here. And uh, there you go. Now you've got a really cool lizard bracelet. And Very nice. Wear it around to uh, important occasions and whatever. Like my birthday party coming up soon. Is it? Very much soon. I'm pretty excited about that. Are you going to wear the lizard bracelet? I will, of course. I didn't know it was your birthday. Uh, three weeks, this is my birthday. I got a present for you too, Zeke. You ready? I'm ready. I'm gonna, I, I, when I was, I was at my, uh, my summer place on uh, Mars, I, I made this for you. It's, it's a tiny lizard bracelet for Zeke. And I hope you like it too. We can match. Now I, you guys both match. I love the lizard bracelet. So now you all have lizard bracelets. It's pretty. Thank you very much. No problem. I thought I, I'd make some, some gifts for my friends. Thank you. And I don't want one. I, I, you know. You are too cool for these. No, those no, 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 no. It doesn't go with my suit. Okay, I'll see you guys later. I mean, you, Marissa, you should go back down to the basement. Thank you. And right now we're going to check on Nancy Koala, see what she's up to. Oh, I just really wanted some candy. Hey, kid. You said you want some candy? I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Oh, I'm sorry. Where are my manners? I am Raoul, the giant amoeba. Pleased to meet you. You don't look like a giant to me. Trust me, as far as amoebas go, I'm huge. My name is Nancy. Hello, Nancy. You said you wanted some candy. Yes, but the shopkeep says they're all sold out. Well, I know a place where you can get all the candy you could ever want. I don't know. I want an awful lot of candy. Where is this place? The planet Neptune, of course. Wow. But Mum says I can only go as far as the big oak tree. Well, uh, she gave you money to buy candy, though, didn't she? Well, yes, I guess so. Well, then let's uh, go. But, Mr. Raoul, how will we get to Neptune? In my spaceship, of course. Crazy girl. Brilliant. So, Nancy Koala and Raoul got on board the spaceship and blasted off for Neptune, the planet of candy. Nancy Koala is getting herself into a loop of trouble. Yeah, it appears she's always, uh, you know, uh, doing crazy things. That's what she does. She's a crazy young lady, that Nancy Koala. I got a plan, though. 
I got a plan that will make everything on the space station okay. What do you, do you know what it's going to be? Uh, this time I am not even going to guess. I don't know. You're going to tell me your three favorite letters of the alphabet, and what they are, and why. Okay. Are you ready? I am ready. My first favorite letter is S for space. Space! Because space is the birthplace of my race. Race! My second favorite letter is B for place. Because he is my best friend up in space. Thanks, buddy. Last but not least, I love Z. It is the letter of my name. I am Zeep. I am Zeep. I'm not a creep. I am Zeep. Oh, sorry. Set for Zip. Zip. Hello, everyone. Guess what time it is? That's right, it's story time. Now, first we're gonna turn on the light, because remember we should always read with the lights on. It's good for your eyes. And so, today we're gonna read a nice little rhyme called "The Dunce of a Kitten." Come, pussy, will you learn to read? I've got a pretty book. Nay, turn this way, you must indeed. Why, there's a sulky look. Guess the kitten doesn't want to read. Well, get along, you naughty kit, and after mice go look. I'm glad that I have more, I've got more wit. I love my pretty book. See, I guess reading makes you smart. But the cat can't read, so he's just gonna go chase mice all day. Behave yourselves until next story time, and I will talk to you later. Captain Marissa. Now she knows how to read. She sure does. There's a lot of, you know, reading is com it's composed of letters that build into words, that build into sentences, and paragraphs, and then you put it all together, and it, it, it makes a story, a poem. You could, you could have a, a, a limerick. A haiku. A haiku, even. It, it's pretty exciting. I wonder where she is now. Hmm. Hello, Captain Blaze. Oh, hey, Captain Marissa. How Hello, you doing? Captain Hello, well. Captain Marissa. I see you got some. Uh, you got some oranges here. I do. It's pretty awesome. Is this for us to eat? Yes, it is. I thought you would enjoy a healthy snack. Well, you know, a healthy snack would be good since I've got to leave soon. Would you, would you like a piece as well? Do you want a piece, see? Uh, maybe I will save mine for later. I had a hot dog earlier. Mm -hmm. If you got oranges, and they're cut, you can stick them in your mouth, and it looks like you got crazy orange teeth. Orange teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I gotta get going, so I'll see Captain Marissa. Bye, Captain Blaze. Bye, Captain Blaze.